Was the vandalism fueled by hate? That is debate tonight over the damage done to a mosque in San Francisco. Muslim community leaders gathered today to show support for that mosque as the man accused of targeting the place of worship faced a judge for the first time. Here's NBC Bears Christy Smith. 35-year-old Robert Gray appeared in a San Francisco courtroom, accused of defacing a local mosque. We were not allowed to show his face. He was charged with felony vandalism with a hate crime enhancement for allegedly using a skateboard to break windows at Masjid Al-Tawid Mosque this month. Outside the courtroom, the deputy public defender raised questions about the charges. There was no ethnic or religious animus. And um, I think at this point, or not I think, at this point, I, we don't believe that there's any indication that there's a hate crime at all. Gray entered a not guilty plea. In a statement, District Attorney Brooke Jenkins said in part, our houses of worship are sacred spaces and targeting them in any way will not be tolerated in San Francisco. My office will make it clear that there is zero tolerance for those who commit any crimes targeting our religious spaces. And some hate crimes that have happened where we had windows broken. We've had um, basically our property vandalized, windows broken inside and outside, as well as writings on wall and on our um, essentially on our sidewalk. Earlier today, outside the mosque, interfaith leaders, police, and local officials gathered with a unified message. We realized that we had to do something today on behalf of the Muslim community in San Francisco, as well as on behalf of Majid al tahweed So for people to come together and you know, show solidarity for such a matter. I think it's a step in the right direction for sure. And uh, definitely want to thank the city for taking matters so seriously. Police described the most recent developments. So really it was the same suspect that came back three times. So on, uh, on April 4th, the suspect came through around 11 o'clock in the morning with a skateboard and broke the windows behind me here at this mosque. They also claim Gray came back on the 10th and made his way inside. That's when police took Gray into custody. So when I saw these constant attacks, attacks on our place of worship during the month of Ramadan, I started to feel a little bit unsafe, for sure. However, when I saw just how, how much coverage we got just because of this incident and how much responsiveness we got from the city of San Francisco and from the police department, it, it, made, me, it made me feel reassured that there is, there is people care. Christy Smith, NBC Bay Area News.